hello guys so today topic how to find the uh, console application uh, path uh, that executed the file uh, path as well as uh, the executed uh, file uh, path uh, so so uh, see uh, the folder plus path okay uh, so uh, I'll just uh, show you a small example how to get that console dot will write the path in okay I going to use the system dot uh, reflection in the system reflection uh, here we have the option called uh, get okay system dot in the assembly I go on the find uh, get that current executed assembly uh, because it is a console application built in an exe that if you go and see in the folder okay in the bin debug mode see this is application exe application so executed assembly okay dot location name just okay just use a location okay so this will provide me the entire executed file this many so uh, one sec so this is a, a path uh, with the which file is executed like console app dot exe up to uh, that level it will show which executed file so only I want the location of the path so for that you can go and uh, use console dot right line use app domain dot current domain dot base uh, directory so this will give you the directory of uh, the exe file so let me go on the cons console dot a read key okay let me go on the run the application okay see here so this provided my total directory e okay the e, uh, folder console application so with the executed file because in the assembly we are finding the get the assembly uh, name also this is only the base directory by using the app domain mm, class this is uh, from the system dot reflection we are finding by assembly which assembly is running now currently so that will be uh, uh, executed so that uh, path by using the reflection and by app domain you can find the base directory because base directory is a debug so in the debug only executed file will be run so once it's compiled it will be run there so this is a way to find and you can uh, map it to anywhere so thanks for watching the video guys